in the next part of the lecture, we are going to talk about a linear approximation. Now, uh, basically, a linear approximation is essentially the same thing as tangent uh, line or a tangent plane. Right? So it's just that um, the, the the way we kind of view it and apply it is, is a little bit different. So instead of plotting um, the tangent plane or tangent line, so we're going to use, um, well, as the name suggests, su suggest, uh, we are going to use it to approximate some, some quantity. Right um, now, basically, if this is the equation of our tangent line from mathematics one, then we are going to view its right hand side as a linear approximation um, to our functions. Now, so it means that that it is right hand side. So we basically we say that f of x is approximately equal to f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a right. now uh, and we are just going to use a new notation l of x just just to emphasize that this is a linear approximation rather than just the the, the, the 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 line that we draw okay so for a two variable function so we have a, the essentially the, the same thing so we are going to replace um approximate the value of our function with um the its own tangent plane. Right? Now um, you may wonder why we want to do that, right? So I mean, why we want to approximate our f if we can just compute f? Now the true um, application is, of course, not to approximate f, which we can compute anyway. We don't really need to approximate it, uh, of course. Well, when we can compute it, so the the real um, and very useful application in engineering is uh, when we measure, we can measure some quantity with error. Like, I don't know, you know, if say, if you have a ruler, right? If you have a ruler and you know that uh, it's um, the kind of the unit on the ruler is one millimeter. So it means that whatever quantities, whatever length you measure with, a ruler so you can only measure up to a nearest millimeter so so you can assume that any measurement with this ruler is going to, to have a certain error and the error is, is probably can be something like one millimeter All right so in this case x is what comes of, of the ruler no x is the actual number and a is is uh, the measurement and x minus a is we probably don't know the exact value but we know that it's less than one millimeter so the error right and if we can measure uh, some length with a ruler but what we really want to know the error of is probably some some derived thing like probably the perimeter of something or maybe the volume of, of something right so we have some i don't know some some box we can measure these three uh, sides of, of the box up to with an error of up to one millimeter and the question is so what may be the error of the volume measurement and in order to do that we need to to do this uh, linear approximation okay but let, let me show you how, how it works right so the, this is the um a linear approximation uh of a function f of xy um in a neighborhood of a point a b right so if x y are close to a b so basically you can think of a and b as you know x and y can be like the true values and a and b are errors are values measured with a ruler and that it, that is imprecise so x minus a is the error of, of measurement right and we basically we want to kind of roughly know how close uh, the measured value to the true value is okay um so but the formula is that a linear approximate well a, an approximation for a function's value is going to be well close to basically to the equation of the tangent plane and that 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 that's it so uh let, let me um go through an example of how it can be applied so this is just the, the same formula um one more time so some um, hopefully clarifying um, clarifying example so we 
true value is on the surface z equals f of xy and the um, approximated value is on the tangent plane. So um, here is how we can apply the, this machinery. So we, we are going to use the linear approximation to approximate the value. So by the way, the of course, again, so nothing stops us from just finding the exact value or at least with any number of uh, significant figures, like if I you know, enter the, this into the Desmos calculator, I will get 9.9999 and so on, right? So, I mean, but the, the idea is that what happens if um, we don't really you know, know the exact error, but we can only estimate it. So if we only know that the error is like less than one millimeter or, so, or something, right? So we were going to, to begin with the, this simple example, just, just to develop the intuition. So um, now the, the first question is, what the, the, the function is. So uh, the kind of, we are going to approximate um, the value of our, well, unknown function um, for this, um, the, this value. So x is 1 point, x is 1 point 95, right? And y is 0 0.1, uh, sorry, uh, 8.1. And um, of course, it, it's probably easier to to work with um, whole numbers. So this is like approximately two, and this is approximately eight, right? So um, we can easily compute the same quantity where an x, if x were equal to two and y were equal to uh, to eight, right? So in other words, what we are doing here, we're trying to approximate the function of f of x, y, which is equal to square root of 9x squared plus y squared. Okay. And my AB are going to be um, 2, 8. When, and, and probably the kind of the, the change in x, so x minus a, which I, I think is convenient to denote as delta x, but it's up to you, is minus 0 0.05. Right, so the actual x is a is my a minus 0 0.05, right? Yeah, and x, sorry, y minus b, which is like delta y, so the change in y is 0 0.1. Okay, uh, now how can we do this? So, to do this, we need to write down the equation of the tangent. Uh, tangent plane, right? So we, we need to derive the uh, two partial derivatives. So f, the derivative of f with respect to x is going to be what is... Okay, uh, so the, there is the square root. So when we differentiate the square root, we get 1 over 2 square root of 9x square plus y square times the derivative of whatever is in the square root and now we are differentiating with respect to x, so it's going to be 18x. And we can cancel by 2, I believe, so 9x over square root of 9x squared plus y squared. And by the same logic, fy is going to be y divided by square root of 9x squared plus y squared. Okay, so I've just derived uh, fx and fy. So Besides, we need to compute the values, right? So f of a, b is going to be square root of, so my a is 2 and my b is, so my a is 2 and my a is, my b is 8. So it's going to be 9 times 2 squared, so 9 times 4 plus uh, y is um, 8, so b is 8. Uh, so 8 squared is 64, square root of 9 uh, times 4, so this equals to what, 36 plus 64. This is 100, so square root of it is, is 10. So we're very convenient there. So this is just 10, so which means that uh, we can actually find fx of a, so let, let me write it here. So fx of a b is going to be so again my a is 2 my b is 8 
um, is 9 times 2 divided by, well, we already calculated that the square root is just 10, and f y of a b is going to be, well, y is, is 8 over 10. Okay, um, cool. So recall again that um, um, x minus a or delta x is minus 0 0.05. And y minus b, which is delta y, this is 0 0.1. Okay, so it means that f of x, y is going to be the following. It's going to be um, f of a, b. So this is 10. So this is f of a, b. Plus um, f, x of a, b. So this is 9 times 2 over 10. So this is f, x of a b times minus 0 0.05 plus um, 8 over 10 so this is f y of a b times 0 0.1 well sorry this is approximately equal right? because this is just an approximation so this equal to 10 um, plus Okay, look, there is 10 here, 10 here, and there is one tenth here. So this is essentially division by 100. So let me just, I don't know, right, 100. Um, okay, and this is like 9 minus, minus 8 over 100. So this is really just 10 minus 1.001, which is 9.99. Okay, done. So this is the uh, linear approximation is um, to the given um, expression, right? So it's 9.99. It, it's not too far off. So as, as you see, so the actual, um, so the mistake is in the third significant the decim yeah, decimal place. So after the uh, uh, decimal point, 9 and 9 are correct. So the next um, digit is the next actual digit is one right? so if we round it to two decimal places we get our linear approximation so it's not too far off but again so the the, the, the main point here is, is that um, by the, this kind of machinery so we can estimate uh, errors in measurements if we can measure one thing but we re really want some something else like we can measure linear um, well, length of something, but we want to measure the error of, of volume of, of something, then we can use the, this machinery to estimate the error of approximation. Okay, so that's it for this part.